This can't be Emperor. I suppose so. The, re the, re the record was 24. How, like, what's the uh, general reaction of the districts as we move through them? Is, like, is people actually sharing? Are they silent? It depends, depends or... really where you are. Um, the priest quarter went very silent after their attempt. The assassination attempt that went there. The foreign quarter seems to be fully endorsing this. They seem, they seem, to, they seem to quite like the idea of a half-elf um, emperor. They seem to be in quite, you know, quite good spirits about it. Oh, good. The port district, I mean, the people there aren't really the most politically active people. They're not really people that are that interested in politics a lot of the time. You know, they're, you know, they, they seem to be okay with it. You've got a little bit of, um, I mean, other than these shot on the way out of the gold quarter, it was a bit, um, you know, you've got a mixed reaction there. I mean, because that district has had a lot of nobility in it, and some of them were like, mm, yeah. We'll tax them double. No. <laughs> See how they like it. Um, uh, guys, there's a kraken. The maybe there's a kraken. Um, there, it's, it's an anonymous kraken, though. In the arc, in the archmage's um, quarter, they are basically indifferent about it. It's like, okay, a new emperor. Nobody came. People came. Just there wasn't. Yeah, you know, it just wasn't particular. You know, it wasn't exceptionally like. Party and it wasn't you know it wasn't like dour and annoyed it's like the the foreign quarter seems to be um they they they, they seem to actually you know, other than the shot that came out of the forest which even annoyed a lot of the peasants because the district seemed to be exceptionally loyal to Colroon and Colroon supporting this seems to be basically they're supporting William by proxy. Mm -hmm. I I you saw North Side is ecstatic about it because of you guys. Mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're, you're like local people, and now you're ruling, ruling the empire. Mm -hmm. Love it. I mean, except Raphael. He's boring. Yeah, I mean, the this, this store is right there. And, the gate, can. and the gate district, I mean, they're a, lot more, they're a lot more rigid, but you know, they seem to be happy. They, they seem to like it. They, didn't seem, they don't seem to have a problem with it too much. They have, they have respect for a lot of the people involved. Like, <laughs> Rekker and Charlie just glares at them and they start cheering. <laughs> he glares at his guard members that start cheering, not at the pop Poppiers. Glares at them too. No, the Poppiers are kind of just like, they can do it later. They, you know, they're fine. Um, but you get back to the palace. So, overall, William is, due to your precautions, not actually injured, luckily. So we'll take away the temporary hit points because he did get shot. Um, how's how's William? A little bit shaken. Only well, three people tried to kill you. That's good. That's that's good. That's good. They like you. It's like oh, um, um, he's very nervous now. But you know, you know, compared to some of the things he's through, this probably isn't that bad. You should sit in the chair. That's now. true. Um, I've had worse guys. <laughs> it's like yeah. I was say that to you, but yeah, you can kind of think about that. I have this big scar where they, you know, were like, oh, yeah. don't just just stop, William, don't. Yeah, please. Don't, don't. don't go into scars. Um, but yes, returning to the palace and moving past the lines of nobility held back by the Sapphire Legion. It's like no, no approachy, no approach. Let let new rule, new ruler go past. The new rulers. And then, yeah, and then, like, you, we had the... Uh, did we have the huge coronation inside the... Like, the Prince Bishop and all that, or is this... The Prince Bishop has arrived to do it yeah. now, because you went, back, you went around the parade, and then afterward, it's tradition, you would... Yeah. Right, yeah. well, the then, then we are going to start letting the uh, the high nobility and stuff in for to see mm. and, you know, be present in the, in the, <clears throat> in the huge chamber. Guards everywhere. Fanfare. Prince Bishop standing at the front of the throne, maybe with a, like a you know like a pillow with the crown on it. <laughs> yes, a pillow with the crown on it. Um, one moment. Did Arian just teleport? I think Arian just teleported out of my way. I saw him. Arian teleports everywhere. Mm, um, Arian's too badass to be. Yeah, you all approach. You all approach the palace. Um, That's because I was adding up. A... You were editing him. I saw that. Um, well, after... Where. Oh, well, yeah. where, where are we now? 
Your, to your tokens have been put in a safe place for a second. In a or safe something. Just, just, just to avoid anything cataclysmically going. Location. I wasn't done with Aryan though. Fine, I'll, I'll... Let me just put him on the corner of the map so he doesn't explode. There you go. Wait. Over Where? there. Thanks. Because, uh, it might cause problems otherwise. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. Da, na, na. Da, na, na. Yes, so you go so as you as you go back towards the palace, you just go past all the nobility who once again you have the mixed look between the old bloods and the new bloods. Mm. In their respective um hating you ways. So much hate. Well like lighting you ways in so, for some of them. Only some. Uh, liking and hating. Uh, the, uh, is the Archduchess of Alentor there? Yes. Oh. I bet she is she happy or like does she um, look scorned? That'll be a sense motive check. Uh, What's she thinking? What is she thinking? Uh, you can't tell! That bitch has wars. She's, she's well, Aryan is there with us, he can do sense motive. Motherfucker. Yeah, sense motive. Aryan senses the motive. Uh, I will move your tokens to a place where you can access them. I, I, I won't bother. I, I, I suppose I could uh, roll They are now next to Aryan them. if you want to roll the sense motive check. Why? Just pick something. Just... Well, you know, Zoe and Aryan will. I rolled a 19 on my sense motive. Skill. 27. 27. Um, Arian, Arian, can Arian communicate with you? Um... He can probably communicate to Laurel te telepathically. He can communicate, Laurel, he does understand common, so he can, that's true. Oh, I you, you, you are here, you're, you're here in a very horsey common voice. <laughs> that sound. I, I'm not going to try describing it. Jonas, I Jonas, try it. If, if need be. <laughs> However, um, not happy. Well, most, most of you don't really notice much, but uh, Arian gets the feeling that she's pissed. Good. Mm. Arian? She, she, she is annoyed to all extent. This is like the worst case scenario for her. Arian's yeah, like, that bitch crazy. Anymore. And so she was really just power grabbing. Yeah, she yes. was totally power grabbing. She yeah, has no case. Arian, no. You know. I just, I just want to check if it worked. Arian, heal. Bad. Don't bad, Arian. Bad. <laughs> Don't kick the Archduchess. <laughs> no, I, I, I just wanted to see if it worked. Mind blank stuff. So she probably has. She has a ring of mind blank. I want that shit. Yeah, we need that. Um, she has something running. So. She probably has mind blank running. Need to, uh, She's to probably an ice sorceress. Go on, Jonas. Maybe. Uh, after all of this, we need to bring her in and talk to her. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I My no... Pegasus told bad, me that bad, you're bad pissed down. about this. <laughs> Bend anyway. your knee, you woman. Is that what no, you're saying? I won't to talk say? to her. I don't really need to talk to her about. But... So you move into the, in the full in the in the in the throne room. There are people are lining all the areas for it. You know, at the at the top there is the prince bishop over the um, st st standing at the top. Um, Traditionally, it's, it's, it's traditional to have a member of the other, other member of the whole family up there. Would you like William or or Rolder? Not uh, William. Um, would you like Corun or Rolder? I think Rolder should do it because yeah. she she's like the passing. Yeah. The right? probably a Rolder. She's okay. giving it over. Let's do this properly. Okay. If Rolder will be Rolder will also be um, taking it second. Can even position. get up with her voice. Um. So do this in, legit. The the. the the room, you know, as the doors at the far end open, you guys are inside. Where, where would you want to be? Would you want to be close to the coronation, like on the balcony, so you get the best view, or like with the, with, with the main nobility? Where do you want to be? I want to. Be I think scattered. I want to be able to close to the front, close to the back. in case I, 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 something I'll, happens. I'll be on the balcony, so I have an overview. Okay. Yeah. The riff will join around up there. Well, I think we should have a bit of a split. Some at the bottom, some at the top. So we want to be close. This this room. <laughs> Even if you, even if you can't notice, even even if it's difficult to notice them in the crowd, it's filled with sapphire guards, and you know it. Good. Yeah, but they can't heal. Not you don't know. Not the, not the majority of them. Some of them probably can, and the generals most probably can. Well, so I, I want bet you to the be generals. To William regardless. Okay, you will. Ba so basically, you'll try like moving through the crowd as he m walks up. Mhm. Mm um, not too hard when you're a celestial being. I mean, you just, I don't think she wants to like fly over the crowd, though. Yeah, uh, fly away. I can also go through them. <laughs> just light being through them. Bitch, please, I don't need a shove. Very well. As, 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 as William basically enters the room, a rolled at his side, 
walk, walk, walking down dressed, you know, qua- you know, dressed, you know, in his in the mostly fancy way, not overly fancy, but mm-hmm. as he as he approaches towards the towards the throne, sta- standing in front of the throne is the prince bishop dressed. The, the prince bishop doesn't tend to like try and make his robes overly um, fancy, but now now they've been made to look up a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, he's sure. Whatever. Now they now they've been made to you know look regal. Yeah. Um, Makes sense. As he, did they look fake before? Is that what you're saying? No, it's just a bit more. Before they before they're a bit more plain. They were. Oh, plain. He looks fantabulous now. As he walk, as 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 William and Rolda walk walk up. Walk up towards the towards the throne, and um, before you before you all, William is made to say the vows of the empire. What are the vows? Um, let's see. Do I have the exact wording here? You you don't have to if you don't have them. Duke. It's okay. I just thought it would be nice to know what he's agreeing to. The vow the vows of the empire. Empire basically they're long and very oldly written, but in simple they they cover. He must pro- he is to protect the empire from all from all coming threats. To keep st- to keep st- to keep the stability and safety of his people, and to, and to allow for fr- to allow for freedom throughout his empire. For all for all members of the empire, regard regardless of of race or background. Sounds fair. I mean, it, you guys can add more, but those are the traditional three. No, I, I just yeah, wanted just to hear. Keep it traditional. If it's anything with like the Danish uh, crown, then I would have something to say. As um, William, in his um, bow, in his you know, you know, on the only time you see basically see an em- emperor kneeled, kneeled, bef- kneeled before the throne. Facing towards you know the large group as as the prince bishop lowers the uh, lowers the at least a ceremonial crown onto him uh-huh. and he r- rises and um, looks around as the as the nobility start um, you know, ba- basically the fanfare begins. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's a dragon. William. He's he's, indi- he's indicated to take his throne and look o- look over by the Prince Bishop. And as as he sits down, you notice a ripple through the throne for a moment. Is that good? It's a small ripple ripple of power as the throne begins to glow brightly. And almost the whole palace begins to. That's probably good. Yeah, it, it's my oh, oh. oh no! As the whole room, from its you know candlelit state, just glows with this bright light, filling it, and almost this almost this warmth fill, fills the room. A, a feeling of peace filling the room. No, we will not be able to outglow this. <laughs> well, now we can't even outglow the Zoe. Upon seeing this, a lot of the nobility that seemed a lot more sceptical before seem to stop being a sceptical. Good, you know, it's, t- it's time to exclaim. If no one else does it, Raphael will uh, 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 surely, you know, shout out. Uh, basically, all hail uh, Emperor William Arkland I. Glory to his name. And then he will bow. He's Emperor William II, he would be. Oh, he's second. Oh, he's huh? second. Ah, uh, sure. And then he will bow. Emperor William, second of his name. Yeah, R- Riffle, join in on that. Yeah, the Emperor! Yeah. Long live the Emperor. Long live the Emperor. Yes, me also. Do, do people <laughs> join in with that? Yes. Good. Yes, they. Well, the majority do. There are some that don't, you know, some of the old bloods that like this. Do, do they kneel, at least? By rights, all of them that are um, baron, count, or higher, no, actually no, just count, duke, or archduke, all must, all must go before the throne and at least bow before it. Does Arya kneel? Do we have to? No. You're no. Not, you're, no, because you're officially not. You're temp- you have a temporary title. True. <laughs> so, 
right. but all, you know, all the landed people go ahead and bow, bef bow before, and it turns to a rather nice, basically, a gathering, all the nobles are, like, talking to each other and asking questions and paying respects to William. Did they bring presents? They didn't know! <laughs> they didn't know about this! We told them! We were all like, there's a coronation, people! They weren't, they weren't told it was going to be a coronation in advance. Didn't specifically, we? Specifically, to a, specifically for... A, there was a few reasons. This was discussed last time. Oh, okay. All right, sure. Well, I don't remember. The time before. I don't remember, but uh, well, yeah, sure. Various reasons. So, yes, the nobody didn't really have a chance to buy presents, though. But maybe some, some like, who had, like, carry money around with them was like, oh, money. Here's money, yeah. Where is Nairo, by the way? Uh, um, he's his somewhere. token is lost in the ether somewhere. I'll fetch it later. Yeah, he, he's somewhere. Yeah, I uh, don't. I don't read. Really let's say. Know. Let's say he's trying to like. He's, he's like up here trying to outshine the outshine the outside. Yeah, he's like watching it. Like I'm gonna fucking beat you. Oh. And then like falling asleep, falling asleep from being yeah, over just exhaustion. <laughs> and after after the after after the main gathering, unless any of you want to speak to any of the nobles in particular, because you basically have the entire any noble you can think of is here. Uh, I think so we should we will... probably work the room. So we will mingle with the room. You, just... you, can, yeah. you, can just, you can mingle. You know, it's assumed you're mingling yeah. unless you have someone in particular you want to talk to. Yeah, let's mingle. Just... We'll, uh, we'll mingle as well. Do you want me to roll a diplomacy? You can roll a diplomacy, if you so wish. What about bluff? <laughs> what are you bluffing? Oh, I'd like I don't know. The nobles. I don't know. Refuses bluff to... to uh... You don't really have... Bluff is not really good for this mingle as much. Oh, like, you know I am betrothed to William, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was my danger roll, and luckily none of the nobility try anything. Good. <laughs> or start anything. Fuckers. It would eradicate a whole damn house if they tried. Yeah. You know, no, no objections or anything. As the fi the final step of the coronation begins, you know, after you know a while of mingling, the grand feast. As the Imperial dining dining hall has been used for its full extent for for, for, a, long, for a long time, as the nobles are seated, and even you guys, I mean, unless you unless you deny, are um, brought basically the highest quality food available. Yeah. Yay. Do that. It is a long celebration. I helped. Well, I may help if he so wishes. Sure, but not sure. Whatever you want is my thing. You got like tentacle oh, arms, so oh, it's totally allowed. Yeah. To... If if anyone can, um, uh, if anyone can carry, uh, loads of plates, it'll be Bollard. He just extends his arms, and everyone just puts plates along his arms. I, I, I don't think that's, 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 he has to rage for that, so that's kind of creepy. <laughs> He's just like, oh. <laughs> so I no, I can cast long arm. Oh, you can you can cast anyway. it now. So um. It's a long day of partying and drinking, and some of you are probably heavily drunk. Yeah. Probably. No. <coughs> no. Some of you. <laughs> nah. Not getting drunk at this. If, no if nothing else, a lot of the nobility gets quite drunk. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep our senses about us. Un un unfortunately, quite common as the basically the night goes on and the you know, basically the nobles start partying and it would move on to like a, a basically in the ballroom. A lot of the, some of the, some of the nobles that are staying will, you know, go go to the go to the go to their partying. William will not be attending the ball, unfortunately. Yeah, I think he's kind of tight. Yeah, being he, attacked he, and everything. He shouldn't have the first dance. <laughs> you can say he hasn't really like done much dancing. True. Mm. You can try it, but eh, it's no. only proper that he go to bed early. Yeah, it's true. He's got many long days ahead of him. I'm curious, would you like, would you like, would you like the throne room change to the not so glowy one? We're trying to keep this glowy. Not not so glowy one, I think. <laughs> no, I, I don't think it's... I, I bit like much, it. A bit much. <laughs> glow can be toggled. So. I liked it. Did you make it yourself? What, well, adding the glow? Yes. I I liked it. I I, I was trying to decide like, is that too much glow? Nah, no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. This I whole, liked it. This whole down place is magical. It'll be fine. As the day as the day after goes round, unless you had, if you want to speak to any of the NPC, any NPCs during the book during the festivities, Can't I'll mingle. Me. It will go to the day after. You can mingle around. 
Would, is Raphael going to perform a perform a long dance in there? <laughs> Give a show to the audience. He he's certainly gonna dance. What, what do you, he's the master of the dance. Of course he's gonna. Would you like, like to give me a dance check instead of a diplomacy check for mingling? Sure. Ladies, ladies. Not bad. Nick it down. I will keep. I will keep that noted that you rolled a thirty-eight. I am Raphael. Did you note that I rolled a twenty-seven? <laughs> I roll so bad. You know, that's bonus. why you need high bonuses, so it doesn't matter. I do have high bonuses. I can't have it put it get it any higher. What what's it's your diplomacy? Plus. It's plus Diplomacy. It's plus twenty. Plus twenty. Uh, yeah. But you know when when I get my headband it'll be better. Yeah, a lot of my stats will be ha uh, much better when, or well, a lot of my checks. Will I get uh, 26? Not off the top of my head, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, let me just check. I think, I don't know actually. Uh, I'll get 23, so, but that's only a 2 increase. I'll go the note. How small he looks in the chair. I know, right? <laughs> what? He's adorable. Oh, he's tiny. Hmm? He should be in the chair. That's, that's where he know. belongs. He will not be attending too many of the meetings. No, nah, but eh, that's where he belongs. He should attend the high. A fair bit about them. He needs to learn statescraft. Yeah. So you, you can certainly get him to attend them, but you know, yeah, not trust to attend. He won't attend on his own. <laughs> Only a few of them, I think. Don't don't push him onto it. Um. And with that, also, um, there you go. I mean, so, wi know. William is, is law foil, he couldn't ride Arian, but is he good? Arian can take he good. He could just be neutral good. He could be good, which is an option as well. Uh, well, Arian can detect good, any or. Is he good? Arian squints at him. He's mm. probably Squint. just neutral at this point. You're, right? you're squinting. Um, he is more aligned, he is more aligned towards good. Than evil. Yeah. So, you know. But he, he's so young. At the he's, he's not. He's not really strongly good because he doesn't. He hasn't really. Yeah, you know, yeah. He hasn't got that strong of a convic conviction yet. Yeah, he's not exactly got old enough to. He could go either way. <laughs> yeah, there's a deep I, darkness in him. I mean, the players have the choice, right? You could. You could. Years raise... and years of torture. <laughs> you, you could raise him to be an evil dictator. Sure, we could. But... No. <laughs> yeah, we won't. <laughs> anyway. Well, it it went bad yet good all at the same time. It could have gone a lot worse. Yeah. Are we ever going to tell anyone about the Imperial Arms we have? No. no. Yes. That, that okay. We are at some point. Let, but let's we need to keep it off for a while. We are missing one member. Yeah, I know. I just noticed that now. <laughs> okay. There she is. There she is. Hi, everybody. Yes. Your count, your council is assembled. Um, would you like to, so, you know, with 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 the with the first meeting after your after the coronation. You know, officially the empress is, the roller is now, <laughs> the regent. Mm -hmm. That's As gonna we, get all of us for a while. Yeah, they will be fine. Um, so how how exactly do you want to divvy out the roles then? Uh, if you speak to the prince bishop, he will inform you. He has no wish. He has no interest in running a. Running, having any more work to do. Alright. Yeah. Then it's Luna. Luna for High Priest. Does Luna want her? Luna's okay with it. She loves oh. power. And imagine how close we were to killing you. <laughs> oh. Alright. She still Good remembers times. that. Good times. You remember when, like, Raphael burst through the door and had, like, a rapier out of throat? Oh, yeah, he, he, was, he was going for her. Arian, the darkness is closing in. Flee from the dark. No. Oh no! This is weird um, voice. Off the table. Off the table. Get get <laughs> the Pegasus off the council table, please. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't. We did not insure it for um, hoof prints. If it's, for, if it's on the table, it's for dinner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bollard's. Uh, Bollard has never cooked Pegasus. Before. So 
Mm-hmm. As, as a group, do you agree with the roles you have listed in here? You know, of course, you know, a roller being region is kind of locked. You can't change that. Yeah. Anybody have a problem? I I don't see any. So the councillor being uh, Miss Liana Whitelake. Yeah. Yes. So um, we shall appoint Liana Whitelake, the former loyalist vice commander, as councillor. I think it's a dual position now, but. But you know, is she, is, is she still running her paramilitary guerrilla terrorist organization? She, she, is, she, is, she is your link to it. I mean, I hope, hopefully she will bring that to heel at this point and actually incorporate it into the state. I mean, what does the head of Artifice do? She, she is in charge, she is in charge of, he- of running um, st- the state-run the state um, const- state research and construction area. It's uh, R&D, basically. Yes. Yeah. Imperial R&D. She's in charge of your research department. And Riff has basically been doing that all this time anyway. So, group. the counselor, which is Leona Whitelake, she uh, acts as the liaison between the citizenry and the other kingdom leaders, parsing requests from the, uh, from the Commonwealth and presenting the leaders' uh, proclamations to the people in understandable ways. It is the counselor's responsibility to make sure that the ruler is making decisions that benefit the kingdom's communities and its citizens. That's her. That's her job, basically. Then we have. Where's? I don't see Rekran Shal. He should be her. Um, He's right underneath the council. Right below her. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. He's not on the screen because he's not part of your council here. But no, he he's the general general. Yeah, but he should have a. He's on the council anyway. Yeah. So well, for the for the. So there's like a larger call. table installed. He is, uh, he is, uh, we have Rekron Shal. he is the Fist of Flames, of course, that everyone knows and loves. Uh, he's the highest ranking member of the ki- uh, Kingdom's military. Uh, he uh, heads the, uh, the, these organizations, he's basically the Supreme Commander. Uh, he's responsible for looking after the needs of the military and directing the Kingdom's armies in times of war. Uh, he is basically a protector and a patriot. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then we have Zoe for the Grand Diplomat position, uh, which means that she is in charge of the Kingdom's foreign policies and contacts, how it interacts with other Kingdoms and similar political organizations such as tribes or intelligent monsters. Uh, she's the head of the Diplomats, the Envoys, the Ambassadors. Um, she has the responsibility to represent and protect the interests of the Kingdom with regards to foreign powers. Uh, one additional thing to add to that is she also has a responsibility of um, dealing with the viceroys of each of all the separate regions of the empire. Yeah, so it's so we we send out to talk to uh, to the archduchess, for instance. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm happy for that. Yep. Um, then, we, yeah. Skip. Then we have uh, William as the heir to the, what? To the empire. What? You, you of skipped course. Arian. Yeah, we, that, that's a really. He's master of all it's, horses. It's an honorary title. We have the High Priestess, uh, which is uh, Luna. Do we know? Does she have a last name? I never heard it. Um, part of the part of the role of becoming High Priestess is she she forgoes all family alliances. All right. Sacrificing her name. Well, High Priestess Luna, uh, she tends to the kingdom's religious needs and guides its growth. Uh, if the kingdom has a, an official religion, uh, the High Priestess may also be the highest ranking member of that religion in the kingdom. I don't think it has like such. No. It's like the imperial faith or something. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, and has similar responsibilities over the lesser priest of the faith um, to those of the grand diplomat has over the kingdom's ambassadors and diplomats. Mm-hmm. If the kingdom has no official religion, the high priestess may be a representative of the most popular religion in the kingdom or a neutral party representing the interests of all religions allowed in the kingdom, which is probably the case. Yes, that is more appropriate. Yep. So that's her. Then we have the magister. Which is Alron, our good friend Alron, or the Archmage. Whose title has been renamed to match that, by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, he guides the kingdom's high learning of magic, promoting education and knowledge among the citizens, and representing the interests of magic, science, and academia. In most kingdoms, uh, the Magister is a sage, a wizard, or a priest of a deity of knowledge. He oversees the governmental bureaucracy, except uh, regarding f- uh, accepting, he, precluding finance. He, he, he does a lot of bureaucracy stuff. Uh, after that, we have the Marshal, which we don't have. The position is unfilled, so we might want to look into that at some point. Who wrote an Elven Ranger, though? I did. 
it's an idea they came up with. Um, we'll move on, move to the next bit before that. Yep. Uh, for the Imperial Champion, um, we have Raphael. He deals with punishing criminals, working with the counselor to make sure the citizens feel the government is adequately dealing with wrongdoers, and working with the marshal to capture fugitives from the law. Uh, he also can grant civilians the authority to kill in the name of the law. In addition, you are given the additional responsibilities of, in simple, um, if the king requires a private, uh, private, um, a, pr a personal envoy, you are sent. In response, in response to the emperor needing a prior envoy, and at times when you are not on on duty, you are to respond as his, as one of his bodyguards. Yes. The uh, Raphael, but yeah, the imperial champion. He he defends the honor of the of the empire in duels and on the battlefield and stuff like that, which he's happy with. Then we have a a special bodyguard, which is called Rune. He is basically follows William around. <laughs> Keeps him safe. Yep. Keeps, keeps him safe. He's a sworn sort to William. Yep. He's the leader of the King's Guard, basically. Mm -hmm. um, then we have the Spymaster, who's, of course, Asimus Santurns. Santurnus? Santurns. Even um, his name sounds fishy. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, yeah, he observes the kingdom's criminal elements and underworld and spies on other kingdoms. Uh, <laughs> he uh, always has a finger on the pulse of the kingdom's underbelly and uses acquired information to protect the interests of the kingdom at home and elsewhere through a network of spies and informants and most likely assassins as well. You know, whatever's needed to get the business done. Yep. And then we have the treasurer, head of coin, master of coin, which is Laurel. Um, and he is, of course, responsible for monitoring the state's treasury and a citizen's confidence in the value of their money and investigates wh whether any businesses are taking unfair advantage of the system. The treasurer is in charge of tax collecting and tracking debts and credits with guilds and governments. Basically exactly what he's good at. And then the uh, warden is Bollard. Um, the warden uh, is responsible for enforcing laws and larger settlements, as well as ensuring uh, the safety of the kingdom's leaders. The warden also works with the general to deploy forces to protect settlements and react to internal, internal threats. And last but not least, we have the head of artifice, which is headed up by Ritalind. She is the, she is the like imperial smith, basically. She, she, research and development is the best way of putting it. She, she is yeah. applied science. That's her. We had a huge description for it, but I don't, I don't have it on me. At the uh, when uh, when, when Alvron is is the research part, she is the uh, appliance part. You know, when when yeah. she's the engineering department. She she oh, basically oh, she also oh. covers like the if. if She's given like if the artificers are given like a uh, a couple of research um, projects that people want them to do, then Riff kind of goes, "Well, that's a bit more important, so you will go for that one first. That's pretty she, much she, as far as she she, she, man she manages the private R and D of you know, of the Imperium em Emperor Inc. Emperor Inc. and she just manages it. She's just the manager. That's pretty much you it. Are, you are human resources. Hmm. Jay, can I ask you something real quick? Mm -hmm. The sign on your restaurant, you know, there's always a sign, you know, the name, for example, if the, in, in North Ring, there, there's a pony. Uh, is the sign on your restaurant a hammer crossed with a broom? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Well, it's just because you but have if a anything, hammer. It would be like a hammer with like a frying pan. Why, why not the broom? Hammer. Well, you have a broom. Well, because I don't sweep meat. Uh, no, uh, you have sweep broom. meat. Hammer with a turkey sweet, leg. Sweep meat. Oh, yeah, with sweet a turkey meat. leg. That's good. Yeah. I like that. A hammer crossed with a turkey leg. Done. <laughs> okay. It's at the new ideology book. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Pull anyway, the people. That, book. that's the roles that we have at the moment. Your, your primary thing I'm missing is the marshal. Yes. Which we would get done at some point, yeah. My my thought was to try to reach out to the elven communities, because even though we have a problem with like extremist separatist people, there's still a lot of elves that don't really uh, sympathize with that. And to have an elf in such a position could be good, It'll because bridge. then we would have an elf 
on the council, which could act as somewhat of a bridge maybe to the other elves and sort of calm them down, hopefully. Also, elven rangers are renowned for their skill and expertise in the wilderness, and he might be actually very, very good at what he does. Way better. The thing is, I don't really know any... I don't know any ranger material, you know? Most of my friends are elves. I have... Sebastian is an elf. He's I not know. a ranger, though. He's not good no, at... No, 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 but we know an elf. I, 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 I would like to be the high marshal. Like, <laughs> just because I'm an elf. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, I, I know You're a ranger. You're an elf, right? You know this. I know a ranger, but he's not stuff. an elf. He's actually so. an alchemist, yeah, so, no. He makes potions. Yeah, I know of a ranger, but he, he he's not an elf, so... Kind of... Doesn't fit the... Job well, you do entirely. for an elf. You do have an elf diplomat in court. No. I remember he's the one with the rose, right? <laughs> the supplicant who came to like beg to not yeah. be conquered. 